Have you ever wondered what 35,000 days looks like in stats? Well, check it out. I changed a little bit of my font just so you guys can see it a bit better. But we are at 35,000 days, 184, and we're going to go into our stats. So I've changed this. Uh, I've changed the uh, the format of this, uh, basically doing the whole language settings and putting on Unifont. Changes up your settings just so you can see because a lot of our uh, stats will overlap with one another. But here we go. This is what 35,000 days of hardcore Minecraft basically looks like. If there's anything that really jumps out at you guys, let me know in the comments section down below. I'll explain some of the stats along the way to kind of ex explain exactly where they came from. Some of the stats are completely maxed out. So this one's a maxed out stat. Um, I think I've got... Um, uh, Disembodied Elytra is also a maxed out stat. You can't go up any higher than that. Six fish caught in game. I mean, I know that's pretty sad, but we don't. I don't really catch a whole lot of fish. Never really interacted with any campfires, so you know nothing new there. Twenty-seven thousand crafting benches. That kind of feels light. Uh, jumps. Uh, almost at four point five million jumps at this point. Mobs killed. Honestly, kind of weak, but I use a lot of villager trading. You guys will see that in the in the uh, in the end. So, but that's at one point one million. I don't AFK as well just so you guys know obviously no deaths uh raids one i don't have a raid farm we fight all of our raids by hand or i fight all my raids by hand my sneak time is at 100 days over half a million shulker boxes opened this is the biggest one right here we finally hit one f entire year of playtime with zero afk and for those of you guys who are wondering what this stat right here is this was introduced in 1.17, I believe, and this world was started in 1.15. So just in case you guys are questioning that, because I know there's a lot of people who didn't know about that. Um, villager trades, 1.2 million villager trades. Pretty thick. Let's go into our items here. So top items here, netherrack, of course. I did a, I did a whole nether uh, perimeter for my Wither Skelly farm. I've also done a lot of digging for my... Uh, my nether hub as well. We got 2.4 million stone, almost 900,000 end stone. That's not a haste mineable item. That's just like deep slate, which is uh, coming in at 388,000. That's pretty decent. Sand will pr ultimately probably be the next 1 million that I push for when it comes to uh, these stats right here. Basalt, definitely up there at uh, 600,000. I live in a mesa, so I got a lot of terracotta. Uh, we got our grass, our dirt blocks, our gravel blocks. That's pretty much how I do all my concrete and all that jazz. Lots of blackstone mined. And then, oh, I don't have, I don't duplicate any TNT. So spruce logs being at 123,000 spruce logs. I basically hand mine every single log. Ultimately, uh, we all know that mangrove is a massive scam. So take this into into uh, consideration. I'm at 88,000 leaves. So let's see where our logs are at. Uh, Skulk is getting up there. Same thing goes with the black uh, black concrete. Um, just a lot of leaves in general, just because I do um, basically mine every single one of these leaves. Uh, Almost 40,000 coal. Dark oak coming in second at... Uh, is that the second one? Yeah, at 41,000. Pretty big margin uh, between the dark oak and the spruce. Uh, snow blocks is actually... Uh, I don't know where I... I honestly have no clue where I got all that snow from. Or where or why I would have so much snow. Uh, we got 33,000. Uh, 27,000 warp stand. Calcite's over at 30k. Grass, surprisingly enough, at 25,000. I use a lot of black shulker boxes, 24,000. Um, jungle log coming in at 19,000. Wait, did I already uh, pass? Just out of curiosity, we know that mangrove is at 88,000. So, all, like, we know that mangrove is a massive scam when it comes to wood farming. So, I'm, I'm really curious to see where that stat's at. 
Uh, other than that, you know, I've done a lot of uh, sponging. Not a whole lot of obsidian yet, but I do plan on getting rid of my obsidian pillars. Oh, look at that. 13,000 mangrove logs? That's a massive scam. That's like a 1 to 6 ratio. I don't even know. I don't, I don't know the math behind that, but it's ridiculous. 10,000 powered rails. Other than this, like everything else down here is just fairly generic. I'll do a little bit of scrolling for you guys, but I kind of want to look at the stats that of I've placed the most of because I feel like those are some bigger numbers. But maybe there's like some stats down here that you guys would be interested in like looking at or seeing or anything like that. Um, and if that's the case, then here you go. But nothing really like kind of I use a lot of micro blocks in the world. Uh, so that's where that guy comes from, which is kind of surprising that I've actually mined that many. Um, I don't even know where I mined all these emerald blocks from. Probably from beacons. Mm, yeah, that's a... Oh, diamonds might be an interesting one. So 3,254 diamonds of the deep slave variety. And then of regular diamond ore, we're at 26... Or 20... 2,662. I almost said 26,000. That would have been crazy, dude. Uh, a little bit of an older world, so I do get the uh, the old um, generation when it comes to that. Not even enough ancient debris to build a beacon. So that's unfortunate, uh, but we'll get there one day. 1996 for that. It's a lot of uh, a lot of copper. Hay bales is up there. String, never enough, to be honest. Um, surprisingly enough, 1,600 crying obsidian. 1,555 for the lecterns. Didn't really care about the um the villager trades in the very beginning. I'm not going to lie. Didn't know the power of villagers. Uh, all right, let's go all the way back up to the top. And let's uh, let's start clicking on... Well, let's see what our items broke were. Okay, so I've broken uh, 255 diamond pickaxes, but that's because when I was doing my nether perimeter, I was basically buying... Uh, efficiency three on breaking three pickaxes through uh, traders, and then other than that, you know, before the hoes were uh, were valuable, shears were the way to go when it comes to um, uh, what are you um, basically getting leaves back in the day, flint and steels. I I mean nothing really fancy to look at here. I have broken two netherite picks. That's a big L, and one netherite shovel. So that's kind of an L too. Damn. Oh, there's actually a staff for how many of these you broken? Oh, never. Okay. All right. Time's crafted. All right. So, um, I do sell a lot of iron ingots to uh, villagers. So we're at 3.1 million of that. Emeralds, 1.2 million. Bone meal being almost at a million. Uh, firework rockets sitting at 954,000. Iron blocks, sadly, only kicking at, um, 452,000. Lots of glass. I buy a lot of glass through uh, through traders as well. Paper, of course, for the rockets. This is just good to have just for making, like, you know, all kinds of, like, chests and stuff. A little bit of gold since I don't AFK, so that that's honestly not that big of a number. But um, hopefully there's some bigger numbers here. So since I don't AFK TNT, I'm at 61,000 for the TNT there. I do a lot of like uh, netherite mining with TNT as well. But nothing else that really jumps out here. So times used might be interesting stat. So I have have used my netherite pickaxe 8.1 million times. And then the diamond pickaxe, which I will never touch again because... I wasn't even trying to go for this number. I actually randomly caught it on this number, which was absolutely insane. But that's at 1.6 million. It's just so many six nines, dude. Hello? What are the odds? Um. Anyways, I've used my netherite shovel 1.6 million times. I have placed over 763,000 stone. Thought that was impressive. Uh, 550 or 571,000 rockets. Almost at a million times of like oh just over half a million for the the netherite axe. Our hoe is surprisingly way up there, but I guess that's uh probably the mangrove leaves coming in strong. Sword. Guess I don't use the sword as often as I thought I did. Two hundred and fifty thousand of the netherrack basically. 
Then we've got uh, Black Glass at 200, 206,000. I'm not going to be super accurate with this. I don't really care about it. Uh, Basalt at 204,000. Lots of moss placed because of my, uh, my Mossa. I'm sure you guys have seen that in the World Tour. If you haven't checked that out, definitely go check it out. Uh, then we're at um, basically almost even on the dirt and the uh, grass, which is uh, funnily enough. 172,000 for the black concrete. Deep slates up there at 153,000. Quite a bit of sand. Uh, this is probably primarily because of my beacons I make. I make a lot of beacons out of iron. Uh, I moved on to hex beacons, but I also do quad beacons if they're temporary. 108,000 torches plates. I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, I've used my elytra over 100,000 times and my chest plate over 100,000 times. I'm always swapping between the two. If you've ever watched any of my live streams, I'm um, I'm pretty interchangeable. Uh, definitely use my sword more than my bow. Um, guess that makes sense. Sea lanterns. 49,000 sea lanterns placed. 44,000 spruce logs placed. Coal blocks. 44,000 coal blocks placed. I think that's pretty cool. I've eaten 42,000 pork chops. Snow blocks at 42,000. Oh, I have a whole snow island in this world. That's probably where a lot of that came from. Uh, this number is about to go uh, through the roof. There are 37,000 for the magma blocks. I'm working on a massive project right now that's taking up uh, probably going to add another 25,000 to that. Um, 34,000 of those. Nether warts. I use uh, bottles of enchantment 28,000 times. I use those to basically repair my elytras on the go. Buy them from clerics, maxed out. Golden carrots, like I said, I've used to eat a lot of golden carrots before they basically, uh, before I switched over to pork chops, never looked back. I think that pork chops are far more superior. I thought golden carrots were more superior. Um, but that's just my own personal opinion. If you got any like, objections, let me know in the comments. I would love to hear why you think golden carrots are better than pork chops. Um, uh, buckets of water, written books. Uh, that's back when I used to use those for my armor stands, pretty much. We got moss carpets. Everything else down here, I don't really think is that crazy. Uh, nothing really jumps out. 13,000 eggs, no clue. Why I have so many eggs thrown, maybe inside the Hall of Fame? I have no idea. I've only placed 10,000 mangrove logs. That's just kind of wild to me. Over 10,000 item frames. Probably why I'd be lagging in some places. Uh, right, so. I'm, I mean, dropped. Who cares, right? Who cares about items dropped? But if you care, here it is. Do, do, do. Cool. All right. All late. 19. Because honestly, I just needed the heads because people wanted them. Uh, axolotls. I think we know why. Blue axolotls. Bats. Mainly for the heads. Bees. Uh, I'm allergic to them. Uh, we got blazes. So they're up there. Camels. Deserved it. Cats. Ah, I've got nothing good to say about that. Honestly, I'm, I'm really sorry. That's, that's a lot of cats. Um, we got cave spiders up there. We got chickens. We got cods. We got cows, creepers, uh, dolphins. Probably I should beef that number up. Don't like dolphins. Drowns or drowns. I can do. I do have a trident farm, so that's not bad. Not that's not too bad. Elder guardians almost at forty. Should probably bump that up a little bit. We're about to get into some pretty crazy numbers here, actually, because I've been pushing for some um some mobs. Almost two hundred thousand endermen. Uh, foxes are up there for some weird reason. Gas, almost at 6k. Uh, oh, here we go. Uh, guardians. So, since I have that crazy guardian farm that you guys have seen in my world tour, I just passed half a million guardians killed. So, that's, uh, that's pretty chill. Uh, hoglins are up there. Horses. Um, yeah. I mean, llamas. We, oh, magma cube, 13,000. That's pretty decent. Uh, mainly because of the, uh, the perimeter on that one. Piglins and piglin brutes. I've been to quite a few bastions and I plan to go back to quite a bit more for Blackstone. 
because I need to go mine it up because, you know, since I don't AFK, barging farms are not very useful to me. Uh, we got our polar bears, our puffer fish, our rabbits, ravagers, and uh, this is these are all like since I do like my my raids manually, you'll see a lot of my my raid numbers pretty low compared to some other people. Uh, shulkers, so being at twenty two or twenty two hundred fifty two, mainly because I don't have a shulker farm yet, so I basically hand farm all my shulkers. Skeletons are up there. We just passed 14,000 slides. I'm actually in a uh, an extremely big battle with one of my um, my moderators over on Twitch. Uh, it's pretty violent. She's upwards to 50,000 slimes killed, which is absolutely insane. It's absurd, but I'm trying to catch up. Um, it's going to be a while. Other than that, I don't think there's anything more crazy. Oh, this one's actually pretty decent decent stat 3787 vexes that's not bad that's honest work typically people avoid those guys vindicators 28 2800 uh 300 wandering traders honestly i started la like letting them live uh witches are getting up there withers so one or 2090 not bad I should probably beef that up too. And uh, Wither Skellies is where all the beacons come from. These two guys right here. Uh, this one's at three three 320,000, which I actually got to start farming up some bone meal and coal. So you'll probably see that uh, those numbers jump in the next world tour. Uh, and then zombified piglins. But um, yeah, that is pretty much it for my stats. If there's anything you guys have any questions about or anything like that, let me know. If anything stands out to you guys, let me know. And if there's any really cool stats that you guys also have, also let me know. I would be, uh, I'm super interested in uh, all this kind of cool stats and stuff like that that you guys have to offer in your world, but these are the stats in my world. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for checking it out.